Middle East 637 the 5th of February 2018 updated 1152 the 5th of February 2018 get short URL YERVAN Sputnik supporters of Nikol Pishinyan an Armenian opposition figure and the only candidate for the post of country's prime minister told Sputnik on Tuesday they would rally at Yerevan Central Republic Square until their leader's victory Earlier in the day, the Armenian parliament failed to elect Pishinyan as new prime minister. As many as 45 lawmakers voted in his favor, failing to secure the necessary 53 votes. Lawmakers from the ruling Republican Party of Armenia RPA, voted against his candidacy. Since April 13, Pashinyan has been leading the protests in the country which resulted in the resignation of Armenian Prime Minister Serge Sarkisyan. The opposition leader was nominated by the parliamentary group Armenian Way Out Alliance YELQ, during Tuesday's special session of the country's parliament. Protesters told Sputnik they were not going to give up and would fight as long as it will be necessary. They said they were ready to rally tomorrow and the day after tomorrow until victory, up to the moment Pishinyan is elected as prime minister. The statement was made before the parliament's vote results had been announced. Earlier on Tuesday, the opposition leader urged his supporters to wait for him on Republic Square, where thousands of protesters have been rallying. They have been listening to lawmakers' speeches, negatively reacting to those of our PA members. The EU External Action Service has called on all conflicting sides in the Armenian political landscape, including law enforcement agencies and civil society, to avoid further confrontation. It remains crucial that all parties involved, including law enforcement agencies and those exercising their right of freedom of assembly and expression, avoid confrontation and show restraint and responsibility, as has been the case in recent days. The European Union continues to encourage all stakeholders, including civil society, to engage in a comprehensive dialogue, in view of the democratic formation of a new government in accordance with the Constitution and in the interest of all Armenians, the statement said. A political crisis in Armenia broke out earlier in April after Sarkisyan was nominated as Prime Minister. This was largely regarded as a way for Sarkisyan, who previously served as president for two terms, to stay in power. Last Monday, Sarkisyan resigned amid large-scale anti-government protests. Armenian First Deputy Prime Minister Karen Karapetyan became acting Prime Minister. However, rallies in the country continued as the opposition demanded an interim Prime Minister who will not be from the ruling RPA. Amid the crisis, Armenian Deputy Minister of Territorial Administration and Development for Ozdat Karapetyan announced his resignation. Dear friends, in this situation I cannot remain indifferent. I resigned as the Deputy Minister, I do not know whom to file resignation letter to. Over the past eight months I tried to make our country better, but now I cannot. We are currently at the stage of destruction, the destruction of bastions of lie and falsity. Our country is being fundamentally cleared, Karapetyan said on Facebook on Tuesday.